in the pocket. Fires, and that'll be caught for the touchdown. Evan Ingram. So the whole dynamic changes right now. They go from three tight ends to spread it out. ETN in the backfield. Lawrence looking under pressure. Throws wide open, making the catch. Marvin Jones for the touchdown. He hasn't made a 50-yarder this season. The only miss he had this year was from 52. And this time it is good. So a 50-yard field goal. Lawrence protected well. Going deep. Has a man open again. Zay Jones for the touchdown. Picked the right time to take that deep shot. Lawrence fires into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Christian Kirk. So Hasty is the running back. They're going for two. And Lawrence reaches over and scores. Meanwhile, Jacksonville can set their sights likely on Kansas City. Here we go for the win. Got it, but there's a flag down. There's a flag down as everybody's running out onto the field, but there's a penalty marker. And they call it on the defense. Unbelievable. Uh, that, it, that is unbelievable. Put them right around Hundley. He reaches. Oh, that ball's out. That's live. Back the other way. Sam Hubbard. The Cincinnati kid. Hubbard's got a convoy. Chased by Andrews. At the 30. The 20. He will score. And he broke the plane. Logan Wilson went over the top to knock it out. We'll have to see where it came out. That's short. That is short of it. What a play by Wilson. And Sam Hubbard, who grew up a Bengals fan, won a state championship at Moeller High School. Championship at Ohio State. Makes the massive play to take it the other way and give the Bengals the lead. Looking for James. He's got it. Coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James, a shot in history. And there it is! LeBron stands alone! The NBA's all-time scoring record now belongs to LeBron James. Here we go. Hurts has all day. Now some rushers come. Going to throw it as far as his arm can take it, which is well short. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl 57. Son. 
How about that? Is that appropriate? Well, don't you know just someday uh, he'll be a coach of his own program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is becoming a family dynasty, if you will. And Dutch, what a year he's had, too. Kirby and the Huskies have their dreams come true. Missed his pass, but Tavares keeps it going, and it's John Tavares behind the net. Coming out in front, John scores! John Tavares! They finally caught lightning in a bottle! And the Maple Leafs have broken the 19-year curse! How about the goaltender, though? Samsonov again, a great story. Here's the quick little turnaround off the skate. Of Radish in front, Vasilevsky never even saw it. But how about Morgan Riley? He said, Can the D be aggressive? For Cousins, lifted in. First one to it, Kachuk. Hit by Carlo. Puck pops in the air, lands behind the net, right in the side of the goal. They chop away at it. Kachuk keeping it alive. Carlo can't grab it. It comes to Verhage. Turns, shoots, scores! Carter Verhage! And the Panthers have eliminated the Boston Bruins. An incredible wrist shot. You just mentioned Verhage with that great regular season. That line not getting many chances in this game, and the improbable has just happened here. Brand, pokes it down into the Avalanche zone. Down to 10 seconds. There's Lekkinen. Sends in deep. Five seconds remaining. Nathan McKinnon. Hit to the board by Tana. Centering pass. Blocked off. The Kraken. Win game seven. They knock off the defending Stanley Cup champs. It's Kachuk. Finding Reinhardt. His shot. And that hit iron, I think. Looks like it had. Now Kachuk out in front. Score! Four quick three to go. It's a series winner. Again for Matthew. What a pickup. Here's the one really good chance right off the tee of the bar and out the other side. And just great patience here by Kachuk. He's got traffic in front of him, a body in front of Anderson as Pesci goes down. And no panic. He's been big money. Man, what a deal. Coming over to Florida Dead. Face says it all. To tie. The two most important ones out. It's a heat lead of one. <laughs> Timeout Celtics. White will inbound. It's off the smoke for the seventh game. From Melvin kicked in, but the buzzer sounded. The light was on. It'll be reviewed. I don't think he got that in in time. Great effort by Derek White. And didn't I say you have... Oh, they're saying on the floor they're counting it. You have to protect the offensive rebound. Oh, he got Long rid of it. He That's sure a did. Celtic and win and we're going the to game seven. The Celtics are going to win. There's a game seven back in Boston. Ruling on the floor is good basket. The play's under review. White. Brown's career. Down the first. Now with nine points. Gets the second one to bounce in. Two clutch free throws from Brown. Timeout, Miami. Can throw it in and get it back and be a very dangerous three point shooter. Lowry searching. Looking, looking. Finds Struce back to Lowry. There it is. Three pointer. Won't go. Rebound call. They're not going to foul. The Heat will let it play out. It's over. At last, the long wait is over. After 47 years, the Denver Nuggets can finally call themselves NBA champions. To make an outstanding save on Barkov. 
Mark Stone with the ball tonight, short-handed, drawn by Stevenson, Stone, Waits, scores! Marshall with the redirect. Long pass ahead, they look to catch the Panthers on a change. Michael, Martinez, scores! Jay Theodore. Shift times at the bottom of your screen. Theodore shot. Did not make it through. Carlson across. Score! Riley Smith! Change in the second period. Here's Stevenson down the right side. Dropping it back for Howden. Cross ice pass. Score! Stone! His second of the night! Six skaters on the ice for Florida. Bennett's pass broken up. Stone, third time. Stone! Manitoba. And an HT for the captain in game five of the Stanley Cup final. And... The silver trophy to the Golden Knights! Domingo Herman, one out away from forever. Grounded to third. Donaldson has it. There it is. Perfection for Domingo Herman. Domingo Herman has thrown the 24th perfect game in baseball history. The fourth perfect game in Yankees history. And you will always remember where you were June 28th of 2023. He did it. Wow. And Ellie De La Cruz in. The 0-2 pitch is swung on. That's a shot in the left field for a base hit. De La Cruz breaks his bat, but he's able to get a base hit. Drive the run in with two outs, and the Reds take the lead 6-5. Second hit of the game for Ellie, and the Reds have their first lead. Just sliced it right through the left side of the infield. Nice yeah. piece of hitting. I'd be really interested to see if De La Cruz is running at some point here. And there he goes. The pitch and the throw on the knees, and he is in there. And Ellie De La Cruz with the stolen base. Yeah, Contreras just trying to get rid of it as quick as he could. That's what kind of speed Ellie De La Cruz has, but they had no chance. He takes off again. Pitch down and in. Fame throw. There's no chance. Two steals. If he got a jump. He's going to home. The throw. He stole home. Thrilling man in baseball stole second, third, and home. This is unbelievable. Joseph Martinez into Messi immediately goes down. Free kick given. Here we go. Salcedo's arguing that he didn't touch him. Messi's showing him the blood on his lip, but he ran into it. Messi! Could it have been any other way? Magnificent! One home run from history. Hammered, left field, gone! Ronald Acuna, another milestone in a truly historic season. 40 home runs. Fifth 
player ever in baseball history with a 40-40 season. Ronald goes. There it is. He did it. A 40-70 season and a season unlike any other in Major League Baseball history for Ronald Acuna Jr. Take the base and take a bow, number 13. Numbers that we never knew if we would see in the game of baseball. You get the bases loaded. One out. Nardi's faced the minimum, and yet nobody warming up in the Marlins bullpen. As this season is on the brink. Boehm, Harper, Castellanos, the base runners. Infielders in at the corners, and Stott drives one to right. That's deep. That is gone. A grand slam. For the brink just broke thanks to Bryce and Stott's base clearing granny. Each team out of timeouts. Aces by one. 8.8 to go in the fourth quarter of game four. Here we go. Yonescu to inbound, trying to get it to Stewart. Dumps it in, Stewart juggles, catches. Six seconds left. Stewart with five, draws the double. Laney to the corner, Vanderslug, no! And that is it! An unforgettable finish to game four! A resilient conclusion. Could tie it with one swing. Hard drive! It's tied! Dolis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall, and the legend grows. Adolis Garcia wins game one. in their 63rd season. It's happened! The Texas Rangers win the World Series! To midfield and lowers the shoulder for 13. This is where Joe Burrow is so good. And now another Bills player is down. Can't tell exactly who that is. Maybe Hamlin. Jordan Poyer was able to go tonight. He was iffy. Their only pro bowler on this very good defense. Hamlin's taking the place for the injured Micah Hyde. And that is DeMar Hamlin. A big piece of this defense for Sean McDermott back after this. As they brought the stretcher out, they have that backboard out. DeMar Hamlin is the one who was in on that stop on T. Higgins. 
And then he got up and just went right back down to the ground. Mm. That's uh, not what any of us want to see, and everybody's around him, and just hope that he's going to be okay. So we'll take another break here in Cincinnati. Buffalo Bills player Damar Hamlin, who millions watched collapse during Monday Night Football, suffering cardiac arrest. Tonight, what his family is now reporting, indicating that his condition is moving in a positive direction. And the moment today, an NFL executive broke down in tears over this. ABC's Alex Perez in Cincinnati. Tonight, as Damar Hamlin battles for his life, loved ones who have been by his bedside finally getting an encouraging update. We've gotten good news. We heard from the doctors and what they were wanting to see from him overnight, they were pleased with. Uh, we don't know how long this medical journey is going to be for him, but right now things are moving in a positive direction. The horrific incident during Monday Night Football, the 24-year-old Buffalo Bills safety collapsing and suffering cardiac arrest after taking a hit to the chest during this tackle against the Cincinnati Bengals. Medics rushing in, performing CPR for 10 agonizing minutes, restoring his heartbeat on the field. They are intensely working on DeMar Hamlin. Hamlin's agent telling ESPN his oxygen levels have improved, but Hamlin remains sedated and in critical condition. This is your time. You'd like to keep us updated. Yeah, we'll keep everybody posted on Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Miami and the Jets were underway as New England decided to defer after winning the toss. And here's Hines on the run back, breaking a tackle and taking it past midfield. And down the sideline he goes. This is storybook. An opening kickoff return for Tamar Hamlin. And this place is absolutely going wild.